What's up guys? Welcome to part six of the Root Motion Locomotion Enhanced Input Series. Uh, today's episode, we're going to fix our jump animations. We're gonna go ahead and just retarget the um, UE5 Manny jump animations so that we can just have all three. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and fix that. And then we're also going to add in multiple landing animations. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Um, probably part seven, we may add in um, some sounds and some effects, but this episode, we're just gonna get the landing animation set up um, so that you can have different landing animations based on the height that you're falling from. If you have any questions, you have any issues, feel free to ask your questions in the Discord. Uh, the link to join is down in the description. Without further ado, let's get into it. Basically, the last time we set, uh, if you open your animation blueprint up, go into your main. So in your anim graph, go to your main. The falling animation that we had was just not very good, so we just left that out. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this set up a little bit different. We're actually going to use the many animations. So we're just gonna use the ball loop, jump, and land from the Manny. So you can just control click on those, right click, Retarget animation assets, duplicate retarget animation assets. You're gonna pick the IK retargeter. It's gonna be UE5 Manny to UE4 Manny. And that's gonna set that up. Go ahead and click retarget. That's gonna throw those into your content folder. Just open up your drop down here. You can just drag these over to your new. So let's go ahead and open these up. Just make sure these are working correctly. Fall looks good. Jump looks good. And land looks good. Let's drag these over in, move here. And then right click on your content, fix up redirectories. May not do anything, I just do that anytime I move any fold anything from a folder to another folder um so then in here we're just going to drag off our jump we're going to add another state actually let's not do that so let's get jump let's go ahead and get these swapped out real quick lead our jump start we're going to use mm jump that into result get mm fall loop just drag that in Change name on that to falling connect there connect there and delete this one and then from our jump to our falling that one is going to be is falling this one's gonna be I believe is not falling yep so we need to grab this from here delete that this one's gonna be automatic rule based on sequence and then we're gonna paste the not falling in here. Compile and save that. Let's go ahead and check that out. One of the fingers got kind of messed up a little bit but that's fine now as you see now we can jump we're falling we go to the land and go through the land animation 
When you fall off, you will drop straight down. That's because you have no forward movement. If you want to set this up to where you're not dropping straight down, you'd have to do a um, launch character and just put a value in the launch character based on when you're falling. Um, but I mean, in reality, if you run off a ledge, you're going to fall straight down is what's going to happen. So, I mean, the only time that you would really go forward, I mean, is if you're sprinting, but I mean, that's just kind of with the limitation of the animations is kind of what we have. So, um, but yeah, now we got our jump fall jump looks weird jumping from idle So now that we've got those landing and or those jumping animations updated, um, let's go ahead and we'll start adding in the code to and add the different landing animations. I'm not going to provide any animations for this. Um, you guys will have to uh, find your own landing animations. M most animation packs have multiple different landings, so it shouldn't be too hard. You can probably find a few on Mixamo that you can use. Uh, but we're going to go into our third person character and we're going to go down to our jump input. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to add our code onto our um, on landed event. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a print string right off here first. That's going to be the first thing that we do. And then we're going to get velocity. Put the struck on here. Okay, and before I forget, let's go into our animation blueprint. And we can get rid of this is falling right here. We don't need that since we set that later. Um, we're gonna set our velocity here. So want to try get on owner get get velocity right click that promote that to a variable and we're just going to connect this where that is falling was at and then we're going to rename this to velocity Go ahead and compile and save that. We won't need our anim BP anymore. Okay, and from our print string, we're gonna connect that to our Z value. Compile that. Go ahead and uh, hit play. So now we should have our velocity going down. So it looks like seven negative seven twenty one is the highest for the normal or the, the lowest number that we're falling for the normal. So off of this, we want to add a branch. Can't type. Branch off of our print string. And then from our Z value, we want to do less than equal to. We're going to do negative 800 here. Let's go ahead and connect that to our condition. And then we want to duplicate this, connect that to our Z value again, and we're gonna do negative 1200 in this one. 
And then off of this one, we're gonna do a select. Should be the one that looks like a fork. Sure you picked the right one there. And then from our true, we're gonna play anim montage. I've already created the montages for this. Um, if you don't know how to make a montage, it's very simple. Um, go to your animation. So like, here's my montage, it's blue. So I took the uh, Ghost Samurai pose dodge front. So this is the dodge roll forward from the uh, Ghost Samurai pack. All you need to do is right click, whatever animation, create anim montage, and that's gonna create it into an anim montage. Um, if it is root motion, make sure that you click on root motion before you create the anim montage. Um, otherwise, it's going to cause you problems. So, and then in our select, now we can pick which montages we want to use. So, if it is negative 800, less than negative 800 or equal to 800, that's going to be on the true. What would be on the false and then the high landing montage would be on the true because this is the index of switching that um, and then after this we want to set is falling set that to true we want to add a delay and you want to add a delay for how long the landing animation is. If you're using a rolling animation like I am for one of them, um, that's the one that you want to kind of base your delay off of. And the reason that you want to do that is because if you're rolling and you don't have that delay, you can hit the jump button and you will roll through the air as you're jumping. Um, that's something that I kind of fi figured out playing around with it. Couldn't figure out why I wasn't able to add a... I even created like a, a, a jump boolean and tried doing a branch to keep it from, you know, jumping while it was rolling and couldn't just couldn't get it figured out. Um, so adding delay in fixed it. So that's just kind of what I've, I've been going with. And then after our delay for my animations, it's 1.16. I already know that. So I don't need to go in and check that. Um, but you can actually find that if you click, if you hover over. Um, sequence length you can see the sequence length is 1.333 um, I don't need it to run through the entire animation so I put it at 1.16 just so it delays till that portion of the animation um, and then after this we're gonna add a set movement mode and that's gonna go ahead and grab your character movement variable and we're gonna set this to walking And we're going to set our falling again. So duplicate that, untick that so that that's false. And then we're going to add another print string. And I'm going to call this hard. Ending. And go ahead and compile and save that. And we got our normal landing that's at negative 0.722 or negative 722. So let's go up to a little bit higher spot. We're just going to fall off of here and see what that does. And that goes to 1026 and it did our mid animation. So our mid landing animation. So I'll go back over here, fall off again and does the animation to where kind of sinks down to the ground jump up on that one and 1241 we do the roll when we when we land there we go now you got uh, multiple animations for your landing. We got our jump fix, so it doesn't look so weird. Um, still some things I, I need to try to figure out with this jump. Um, 
adding a little bit more forward movement so when you when you're jumping straight up it just feels like it's difficult to jump up on stuff sometimes um not really sure how to fix that yet but something i'm going to be working on um and once i figure out a fix i will definitely make a video uh, to show you guys how i got that fixed just where it's a little bit smoother i mean that's one thing with the root mo root motion animations um they they kind of limit a lot of what you can do um i know the usually most root motion they use a, a landing where you're running still um i just don't have those animations to be able to play with that to even figure out how to get that set up uh, maybe something possibly in the future if i get a little extra funds to be able to purchase a couple animation packs and stuff figure some of this stuff out um so yeah that's uh, that wraps up this episode you know i appreciate all the support hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions feel free to ask those in the discord See you guys in the next video. Peace.